Hello Taurus, welcome, thank you for being here. So this reading is going to be a little bit different uh, from the usual um, spreads or readings that I do. I ask here what is important, what's going on within your heart, uh, your heart chakra, your crown chakra, or what do you need to be aware of? What is your, in a way, your blind spot? Um, so I'm going to clarify, I'm going to use tarot, but the cards that came here are uh, drifting, slowly parting, I'm going to clarify each card, disconnecting and detaching. Uh, the, the last card came here, intensity, sexual energy, but something may be feeling non-committal and a new direction, a fresh start. And it, it's interesting, the, the free self as well, which most of the readings that I do for you, you get the full. And with the full, it is in a way we don't know where we're going. It's like kind of just having this wonder, uh, wanting to be f free from whatever has been uh, before. So, but also when I was uh, pre-shuffling, the... Uh, attracting a uh, card came in the infatuation but also like kind of letting go it feels like you're trying to understand maybe even is that seven of cups energy that there's many emotions a lot of intensity but you're trying to understand where is this going to lead so uh let's delve because again i want to see what's going on here for some of you it might be regarding what you see right now your status what it is when it comes to relationship when it comes to home when it comes to your daily life what do you need to let go and uh, especially if something has been you know non-committed commitment but you have felt a certain sense that you want this um even physical intimacy here um when it comes to your life but I'm going to start with this drifting, slowly parting, disconnecting, detaching. What is this about? What have you been trying to let go? But I don't know if the, 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 the pull, the last or the um, intensity is strong here. What is this drifting, slowly parting, disconnecting, detaching? One more. Okay, so uh, very Taurus energy, the Five of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. For some of you, as I mentioned, it might be a situation when it comes to your relationship, your home, and your career, because that's Mercury in Taurus. It's like, I need to let go of something, but it's not easy. Again, especially a King of Pentacles is looking inside the home here, distinguished. Uh, well off so it might be a situation of status money the material here all right there's the eight of wands which you get as well mercury by the way this is the worry of what you need to let go that felt safe but now you know it feels like you have to make this change and then there's the eight of wands mercury in sagittarius that you know the future looks bright whatever is even you know kind of making this fast move here and you might be worried uh, how this is going to impact um, your current situation your home but you're thinking you have i feel like this uh intensity and this uh kind of adventure type of mind that you're looking um at the horizon or you're looking here beyond the mundane thing beyond something that you know uh, you do every day this is kind of shooting high here for the stars or the sky yeah it looks like and i don't know for some of you if this is a position that is going to change completely your life with the two of ones the proposal card but it, it is kind of what do i need to let go and uh what is the next step in my life it can be proposal for some of you you worry maybe something is going to happen too fast too quick and it's kind of as a king of pentacles is worried uh type of energy i need to to wait here all right the wish fulfillment okay guys this came wow yep there's that uh, energy with the two of pentacles and um Four of Pentacles. Capricorn is strong, so structure here is for some of you. But let's speak first when the Nine of Cups is coming in. The Nine of Cups is saying, welcome, you know, kind of energy. Whatever your heart wants, you, uh, you have it. There's this wish fulfillment. What do you want? And look, it's coming with the High Priestess and the Ace of Swords. So this is something truly within you. 
and you have to remember the two of wands here and even the two of pentacles when the high priestess is coming in that is about choices but again you're going to go here with not having everything um, shown to you there is a breakthrough there is some type of light bulb that is kind of this initiation here that truly may be uh, something you you want i don't know if you're questioning we will see if this is just you know not real or it's just the last or uh, you know you're kind of going back and forth like i need to hold back but it seems like in order for you to go towards this wish fulfillment or something here internally your gut feeling that inner knowing here um that maybe you have kept with uh, the high priestess you have kept under wraps or secretive or you have not opened up completely now the breakthrough is coming in but it's something you have been juggling back and forth because again this four of pentacles that is coming in is the, the kind of an energy where we saving or we feel like we have to hold on to certain aspect of our lives because we're afraid. So back and forth, back and forth until I have enough. But it seems like, again, what's coming in, you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision from your, I feel like in this situation, from your gut feeling or, you know, kind of going towards this bliss and contentment. And you might feel like you're risking some type of security here. But can you be free to follow here, you know, that, that gut feeling, that breakthrough, this idea that has been, I feel like, going on for some time here. For some of you, I feel like you're afraid. You're afraid that whatever you have been wishing and wanting um, has been here kind of secretive and you keep going back and forth and holding on to whatever possessions you have. Because, the, the, again, the disconnecting and the detaching is coming with this free self, finding inner peace or embracing independence. What is something, again, that you have held back, that you have to detach in order for you to get this, I feel like, uh, or again, with the full, kind of starting something new or going towards something that truly matters to you, that new direction, that fresh start, that chance. Let's see, but yeah, it seems like, it can be this wish fulfillment or it can be this back and forth energy and holding on tightly. Maybe that's what going back and forth. You have to, to let go of some, some possessions maybe uh, for some of you. I'm going to look at what the intensity, the sexual energy, the non-committal energy is about. But actually the drifting and the slowing and the parting, I feel like I like it because again, it's telling you in order for you to, to have a fresh start and you're beginning a breakthrough, you have to be willing to let go of something that maybe again, you, you're holding very tightly. What is this sexual energy here? Intensity, please, and last. One more. Oh my goodness, you see... A, a lot of Taurus energy. I feel like you have invested into something or you want something to be more than last. You want it here to be something that, again, the Queen of Wands, it can be a fire sign as well for some of you here. You have put a lot of work and dedication. All right, you have been taking a break. I'm trying to stay strong there. All right. Ooh, okay. So the Empress coming in, the King of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Guys, that's why we had that Five of Pentacles. What do you feel like you need to let go? And uh, I do believe that for, for a lot of you here, your current daily life in your home, what you're holding is affecting you. But look, if uh, I'm going to get first again, it feels like the Page of Pentacles is someone that is holding on or to this offer, or I feel like to what is going to unfold here. It's like kind of looking at the present, but it's a developing, especially looking at the Empress and the Page of uh, Pentacles is like something that is growing here. And you feel like if you started for some of you again with the connection that you felt like you, it was not long term, you're looking right now, what is long term, especially the King of Wands here. I don't know if you're questioning this person or this is you. That when it comes to passion and chemistry and attraction here and this, even, you know, this kind of electric love, uh, it's important for the King of Wands. But we're looking also here at something long term, building the ideal family. How do we build this bliss and contentment with the Nine of Cups? It's like, again, look at the, it's interesting. There is a, a 
kind of a secretive energy here when it comes to assets, money. And I'm saying that only because the High Priestess is coming in and the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles here is kind of has been planning holding. It's like it's trying to hold this money and to, to trick in a way that, hey, nobody should find out my stash here. Or, you know, I need to hold on because you never know what happens. These cards are beautiful that is coming in. This is all about commitment. This is all about long-term goals. It's like I have this plan or I have this opportunity and it's going to bring here nurturing, creativity, love, family. And the King of Wands is looking so good and passionate. But when a card keeps repeating here, what is that holds someone? Or you, again, it's telling you, do you have now this planning here? Do you have this backup before, you know, you go towards this situation? The last is uh, the last card of the intensity is no matter what, how much chemistry and passion. That is a question here uh, of longevity, family. I don't know, kids for some of you as well. And is there a, a potential? Let me um, look at this new beginning, the full. Can you just take that new start in life, new beginning, new chapter? Uh, the reading that I did for you, I believe uh, for August, I believe uh, August 26th through September 1st. Again, I said there's life altering change in your uh, life because I feel like, again, a lot of things are coming in that is pushing you. Maybe that's that Uranus energy that is in Taurus and it's on the last degrees here. That is telling you something here has to change. Something has to, to, to completely here. You have to trust yourself, even if with the full, we're like, where are we going? This is chaos. I'm not used to chaos, especially with the Four of Pentacles. But something is pushing you in this new direction. What is um, this beginning, please? What is this beginning? I'm going to ask at the end who or what is coming towards you in love. One more and then I'm going to cut into three. What is this new beginning, fresh start, this chance for Taurus, please? Oh my, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you guys. Hmm. A journey, uh, a journey here kind of energy. What is that? A journey of a thousand miles starts with the first step. Okay, so the Queen of Wands keeps coming. Now, I don't know if this is you or if this is your person. There's a strong, strong attra attraction that is coming in between you and someone else. But where is this going to lead? Where is this going to lead? You see the Four of Cups lingering, the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Swords, the Sun... And the Three of Swords, okay, so definitely it feels scary. The Four of Cups, it's kind of lingering and looking at what was. You know, those Three of Cups is not even looking at the potential. Sometimes to me this is the one that got away or someone that, like, again, when it comes to that emotional security. It's Moon in Cancer, by the way. Especially someone, like, I feel like with these two energies, it's not easy to, to give up or uh, to show vulnerability. Both are kind of, this can be a little bit apathy kind of energy and staying there and turmoil and even the nine of wands though is still a kind of strong here uh when it comes and determined i feel like a lot of worry of protecting here and staying guarded and cautious um but there's something look at it it's like something here better bigger here enlightenment happiness your true identity here and with the sun we know that there's going to be unless it's a leo or so for, for some of you I have strong fire signs here as well but um when the sun comes in i say this all the time it kind of tells us that we have to be true to our own identity here to our own self to our own journey we have to like look at things in a positive way or open up motivate it so whatever you feel like maybe strong about something here or this is going to be your happiness and you want to embrace it, but it has to do with something here of a heartbreak or a difficult choice. 
So can I start this new beginning? Can I start this fresh start? And where is this going to lead? With the full or the beginning, we don't know. We just have to embrace, you know, the first step and feel like, there you go. Now it's like a new life starting or I'm just going to take this chance. And, you know, whatever happens, happens. But um, if you have been kind of lingering and worrying about something, he's saying, uh, again, the sun here, there's this energy that is coming as enlightenment or happiness. And even if it is a difficult choice, it feels like uh, it's going to give you the freedom or the startup here that you need. Let's see. What is this free self? But yeah, I keep getting you going to something that is better for you, but it's very difficult of because you worry of what you need to let go. If there's is safety here, um, kind of energy. If it's good enough. Maybe the free self, you're not caring about anything else, just following your heart. What is this, please? One more. The Nine of Cups, you see, guys? I'm sorry, but the cards keep repeating. The Nine of Cups and the Ace of Swords. This can be, like, really uh, the breakthrough. Look at uh, that. Um, it kind of is like, it feels like something that was hidden. Finally, there's this kind of uh, start, this idea, this bravery, harsh truth, but it's like the hidden treasure here. Finding truly here. Maybe again, you're holding, look at that four of pent pentacles, holding just a little, you know, to that little uh, comfort or stability when there's so much better here. Jupiter in Pisces, by the way, bliss, contentment. So he's telling you, once you like free yourself from something, you are going to strike gold. Emotionally here, maybe when it comes to your uh, career, maybe it, when it comes to your daily life, relationship, once this breakthrough comes in, just be prepared. In the, in the end, it's, it's like maybe again, I feel like when we are supposed to go towards a chapter or, you know, a situation in our life, we will go. But how we go towards it? Are we going to make it difficult? Are we going to embrace this? All right, you see, it's you. It's you. <laughs> What is the opposition? What do you have to overcome? What do you have to show bravery here? Type of situation. Okay, so the Queen of Cups is coming in. The Two of Pentacles again. The Five of Swords. The King of Wands is coming again. And the Emperor. All right. So we know that when the Queen of Cups is coming in, it can be also a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. But there is here a fear that someone is going back and forth because of rejection. The Queen of Cups embracing the, their heart here, their feelings. And it's like someone is very careful how to... It may be you and this person to dance around. Why? I don't know if there's someone here that uh, feels like responsible, especially if there's... For some of you here... Uh, who has the power? Who is going to take advantage of a situation? The emperor here, this is the boss. This is, to me, someone that feels like they have also responsibility. Now, I'm going to look at this, uh, like, kind of in an energy that the king of wands can be someone very responsible. We may have this kind of um, divine masculine energy here. But there is a fear that someone may be rejected or using their power here. And there's kind of the energy that is with the free. Or someone is like, how can we find some type of, uh, in a way here, um, choices? Uh, how can we find a way to, to dance around this situation? I'm saying dance around because, again, it's coming as very careful. It's like the Two of Pentacles is staying there balancing a situation because of fear of rejection or, um, you know, kind of being pushed away. And the King of Wands, of course, is like someone that feels like they need here. Once the decision is being made, they're going to st uh, stand strong. So I don't know if someone in, in power, in authority, when it comes to children for some of you. But it's like, what do you and another person here need to free yourself from this fear of rejection or, you know, someone being pushed away um, or having some type of agenda? Because, again, I feel like there's something beautiful here. Uh, and it's not just lust. It's not just, uh, I feel like, just sexual energy. That might be the attraction. But I feel like this is much more. 
there's the Queen of Cups here really um, is about emotional intimacy uh, kind of energy. So freeing the self of whatever are these fears or, you know, as I mentioned, when it comes here to certain structure, um, feeling like a certain sense of control and being free, being free to follow here truly your heart, uh, it seems. But I'm getting that it's about you and another person and someone may be having a kind of an authority here or a, a, a position that feels like they have to be careful how someone uses that position. It seems it's very, very important. Um, let's see. So all of this kind of to wrap up is saying that there's something here uh, or a wish fulfillment or this breakthrough here that will give you a sense that you don't hold back because you fear. Look at also the last card, the strength card. What is like this kind of uh, feeling pressured? What is uh, between um, love conquers all? What is the fear of the material here, the daily life and when it comes to your heart? I feel like there's this kind of struggle here that is going on uh, with you, Taurus, to going towards your wish fulfillment or your true identity here or, you know, following your heart. Who or what is coming towards Taurus in love, please? or what is coming towards Taurus in love, please. And uh, I will, in the description box below, I will include the, for the ones uh, that need to know about the weekly um, August 26th to September the 1st, you can find the link in the description box below. Who or what is coming towards Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars? One more. Oh my goodness, there's the two of wands. Intentions to go towards your happily ever after, Taurus. They can be bliss, contentment, marriage, family, blending families for some of you here. But it's like, and that's Piscean, is idealistic, is like feeling like a fairy tale. The death card here, yeah, complete transformation. Ending Scorpio. Okay, what needs to end? So finally there can be this direction. <laughs> like charging in. Something in, in your direction in your life is about to change, but it's going to lead you to that, you know, a kind of or marriage or uh, the right one here. Oh my, didn't I say, didn't I say <laughs> the last card, the strength card here? The strength card, believe it or not, I know that it's like uh, sometimes it doesn't give a lot of meaning here to a situation. It's like, what's going on? What? Do I need to have strength? Yes, but it's more than that. It's fortitude. Remember the chariot here. With the chariot, we know that we have to make at least, you know, a kind of a, a whatever the roadblock, whatever is the challenge, we have to, to show that immediate bravery. But once we overcome whatever it is, the situation, we know the direction we gain true fortitude. So, or in this situation between when it comes to that raw, uh, last intensity, but also here when it comes to our heart, it's like we feel like who is winning here? Who, who has the power? In the end, it's not even who has the power, depending on the situation here where we need to show strength. It's something we might be feeling that we need that vulnerability, that gentleness. Or again, pride should not overtake a situation here. But it's like kind of knowing like how do you deal with a situation here and um, how you get truly, you know, what is in power. Remember, even with uh, uh, the emperor, what is controlling you? Who is controlling who? who uh, in this situation uh, feels like uh, has to become more vulnerable when it comes to this situation. You see, we have, it's interesting, two major arcanas, the high priestess here. So I said, who is winning who? Is your intuition or is your ego? And I'm saying who is coming So or what's coming. This can be your energy. This can be your person. Someone here that can feel like, you know, they have the power or they have, I feel like this kind of raw, um, even, you know, intensity here towards you. But the high priestess does not act on that intensity. Knows that there's behind the scenes, there's that intuition, there's that silence, there's that mystery here that is coming in. The queen of swords. This can be... The <clears throat> <clears throat> this can be really interesting because I said someone may be uh, acting here in a, a kind of cool and detached way. 
like I, uh, you won't see here the intensity that is going on behind the Queens of Swords unless there's some type of decision about legal matters here for some of you or someone needs to free themselves from another situation. But no matter what's going on, again, even if this is a person and it's like that Queen of Cups or that Queen of Wands, they can be very emotional, very passionate. The Queen of Swords is not letting those, um, I feel like, emotions kind of overrule uh, their decision is like I'm going to stay here no matter what is underneath going on intensity is like someone is like I need to look at the situation in, in an objective mind you see the temper I'm telling you okay so it feels like someone here that is coming in or this energy and it's going to be important for you guys because in the end you are going to be able here to blend these situations and it feels like you have to make a decision what's next in your life as i mentioned the four of cups is still lingering here that is coming in so it is someone that is feels very strong towards you or has that intuition but it's trying to make a decision here without going to extreme it's trying to moderate it's trying to make adjustment and i've said it these two cards by the way if you're asking Asking you and someone else here will you be together to me the strength card and the temperance is yes eventually you'll be together because this is where someone is knowing how to bring together you know when it comes to the passion when it comes to the heart is like kind of this uh, merging um, through again not going to extreme uh, moderation finally to me also it's like reaching unconditional love knowing that love is more powerful than anything else but again, it seems like it's still lingering here as someone feels like they need to wait because, again, I don't know if there's an ego right now. Both you and this person have to kind of deal with what's hidden, what, what's going on underneath. It's just going back and forth waiting, but it feels like the Four of Cups is still lingering on that. Uh, sorry about the camera. Sorry, I, I pushed it. Um, it's still lingering on, you know, that kind of reconciliation and when this is going to happen. But always I feel like with the Four of Cups, this is because someone is not looking up or is not looking at that cup. It's just focusing here on, you know, on that what was the reconciliation here or, you know, um, I feel like those three cups, what should have been kind of a situation. So it's about, about you and this person or even when it comes to your energy here between your intuition, between this person's kind of cold and detached approach. I don't know if the Queen of Swords is trying to drift, slowly depart and disconnect, but it's telling you in the end, it's going to be like freedom here to go after your own identity. And remember, these both are Leo energies, the Strength card and the Sun. So it has to do with our own self, finding here truly our own happiness. Uh, a lot of work, a lot of, uh, I feel like in the end, again, reaching that uh, point of healing or unconditional love or bringing these situations together i truly hope this resonates with you guys uh, if you are interested in a personal reading you can find the information in the description box below thank you so much bye bye